Halo Sobat Aliper Jumpa lagi di 18 Reaction Bagaimana kabar anda semua Semoga selalu diberikan kesehatan Dan selalu dilimpahkan rezekinya oleh Tuhan Yang Maha Kuasa Di video kali ini kita akan melihat Beberapa gitaris dari luar negeri Sedang memeriksa lagu original Alipata Reorient Bagaimana kesenangannya? Mari kita simak bersama Today, we got the one and only Ali Bata back on the channel, man. With him doing a video titled, I know I'm going to say this wrong, Re Reorin? Reorion? This is a Lip Bata Reorion. Re anyway, let's see what Ali does in this one. Oh, I checked the meaning of Reorion and it means to change focus. Whatever he's changing focus from. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, he's back on his electric guitar. Yes. He's got a cool ass SpongeBob t shirt as well. It doesn't actually surprise me that it's, that it's going that fluent. Because, like, on, on, um, like I said in the last video, um, an acoustic guitar is much harder to press down. Uh, which means on an electric guitar, certainly if, it, if the strings are not too thick, uh, you can have more smooth runs, I think. Uh, and we hear that it's just so fluently, so legato. Uh, it, j it just flows. It just flows. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's amazing. Wow. Jesus Christ. God. <laughs> it is honestly crazy how this sounds like a real instrumental, bro. You know, I would never think this is somebody just playing the guitar. Say if I couldn't see the video or anything. I would think that this was a whole produced, you know, um, song that was used for like a TV show or something. But this is literally him playing a, playing a guitar, making it sound like that, bro. No editing or nothing. This is literally just him playing a guitar. That's amazing. <laughs> you know, when you see him on his acoustic guitar, you think, he can't get better than this. And then he gets on this electric guitar. And I would say he's a little bit better on that electric guitar than he's on, the, on an acoustic guitar. That might be because an acoustic guitar is harder to play finger style wise. But these nailing whatever this is, this sounds absolutely fantastic. He's doing a lot of work with both hands, like he always does. And you know what? If Riorian means to lose focus, I don't think he's going to lose focus because he looks focused. He actually looks bored <laughs> because it's so easy for him. Yeah. <laughs> He works in octaves there, so he has his um, his index finger and his pinky on the same note, but two octaves difference, I think, or one octave, one octave difference, uh, and he plays them both, so he plays in octaves there. One thing that I'm noticing is, of course, he doesn't need an actual mic on the strings there, so I assume he holds the mic right now um, in front of the speaker that the guitar is attached to. I mean, we ca we cannot see it, but that's what I assume. I want to learn these parts. I want to know what the fuck is going on. He makes it look so goddamn easy to do. Just floating along, just hitting all these notes, and I don't understand. I want to know what he's doing. Dude's amazing. Is this a cover or is it original? I'm curious if, if anybody knows what it is, or if it's a... Dude, if this is original, holy shit, man. I mean, holy shit if it's a cover, but... This is stuff he writes. Good lord. No, I, I love watching him play. He's so relaxed, and he's so... Just confident and purposeful with everything he does. It's just... It's amazing. Effortless technique. I mean, very minimal finger movement when he's doing yeah. all those super fast uh, lines. And he does hybrid picking, so he's got a pick, and then he's using his fingers. So you can kind of do kind of almost like sweep picking to some degree 
where you're using your fingers and you can just play all these cool runs really fast. That's like a finger style thing, and he's mastered it. And uh, kind Master. of a cool composition, pretty sophisticated uh, chordal movement for sure. So, anyway. <laughs> Did you see that little chord progression with his fingers? How quick was that? He just he just mesmerizes you with it. Oh my god, this guy's incredible. I love these little birds that he's got as the fret markers on his guitar. That looks really cool. <laughs> nice bend there so that's the first bend that we hear and if you're not doing them all too often in a piece it just comes to the foreground a lot better so because it's the first bend that we hear it has a very good effect i think um i was just thinking <laughs> ali bata uh, could perfectly do just uh, an, an audition for polyphia i think um because like before he was an acoustic guitar player but ma but, but right now he just plays the guitar i mean he sh he should have an ibanez <laughs> if that's the case but definitely has the skills definitely has the skills <laughs> I think I do understand a little bit of what's going on it's when when Alan was showing me how to do some stuff, doing some like thirds, intervals, and stuff, which I think is what's going on here. Which means I can figure some of it out. And there's a lot of chromatic stuff going on, but it just sounds so cool and so out there, just different than anything I listen to. I love it, man. That's awesome. I love it so much. <laughs> That's a little bit of the same uh, technique. So he bends up the one string and just hold the pitch on the string below, which gives that eerie sound because the string that he's bending just doesn't quite reach the actual pitch that he hits on the other string, but just below that, which gives that eerie feeling. And that sounds just so cool here. Yes, super cool. What? This guy is ridiculous on guitar. He is so good. Oh my god. Do you know every time you see an Elite Batar video, you think, oh, he can't get better than that. He can't get better than that. He just somehow he, he manages to change it up all the time. He's just, he's a phenomenon. It sounds to me a little bit like a really cool modern take on Django Reinhardt. Yeah. Not copying him, but doing kind of like a modern version of him with these really cool um, chordal movement with great and exotic sounding scales. I heard a diminished scale, and I'm sure there's like some, uh, like a Phrygian dominant, I thought I heard. Um, just really tasty stuff, you know, really cool. <laughs> oh my god. I'm supposed to say words. I don't know. That's probably one of the coolest like guitar pieces I've ever heard. I can't. There's nothing that it sounds like, dude. That was fucking crazy. <laughs> it was so different, so original, and I want to know what those what those rows he was traveling were from one from one station to the next you know what i mean it's so fucking cool dude that was amazing i am not surprised that elite batar had to wipe his eye at the end of the because that was looked like sweaty work well for, not for him for me i'd be still trying to do the first part of that song and doing it very very badly 
This was an absolute masterclass in guitar wow. finger style. I mean, I think this guy is not just the master of the acoustic guitar. He's the master of like um, finger style, all all genres of finger style, all different styles of finger style. He My is so wow. good at all of it. He can do the whole spectrum, acoustic, electric, whatever. He'd probably play a stick with a couple of strings on it and make get a tune out of it because he is that good at what he does. Luar biasa ganas guys. Itu tadi reaksi kita hari ini. Beberapa kita dari dari mancanegara sangat bingung dengan apa yang dilakukan Alibata dengan gitar listriknya. Teknik dari Alibata memang benar-benar sangat luar biasa membuat ahli gitar pun kebingungan. Bagaimana menurut anda semua? Sampai berjumpa di video-video selanjutnya. <tuh> Salam Aliper Indonesia.